Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're going we're doing aesthetics and we're keep keeping doing some 3D problems. We're gonna do problem 274, okay? So it says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force and then sketch this vector. So they're giving us three forces, f of one, which is 90 newtons, and it's only if you check the picture, it's only in x and z direction. It doesn't have anything in the y direction, okay? And it's also described by a three, four, five angle. If we check f of two, there uh, f of two has um, x, y, and z components, and they're describing us the angle between f of 2, the magnitude, and the plane x and y plane by 60 degrees. Also, they're telling us that from the uh, plane, x, y plane, there are 45 degrees to the y axis. And last, the f of 3 force, f of 3, uh, the third force, f of 3, which is 200 newtons, all straight up into the z direction. So they want us to find the resultant. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna decompose it into x, y, and z components. And at the end, we're gonna add them up, find the magnitude and its direction, okay? So let's just start with the easier one. So the easier one is f of three. If we check f of three, it only has 200 newtons going up. Basically, f of three is 200 newtons only in the k direction or the z direction 200 newtons and we're done decomposing this guy let's do f of 1 so for f of 1 what I would like to do is that let's draw the 2d plane of the z and x axis so if we check at this this force look like that going into the positive of both of them so if you check x is going this way so positive in the x and it's going up so also positive that's why i'm drawing it like this if we were in a 2d plane we also know that this is 90 newtons uh, we're told that this is uh, three four five angle uh triangle i'm sorry so by knowing this, we can start decomposing f of 1. First, f of 1 in the x direction is going to be, how much do I have? I have 4 over 5 multiplied by 90. And if we do this with our calculator, so... I appear with the calculator, I forgot it, and it's going to be 4 over 5 multiplied by 90, and it's going to give me a total of 72 newtons, so we got 72 newtons over here, and let's do f of 1 in the z direction, which is going to be 3 over 5, multiply by 90 so we do 3 over 5 multiply by 90 and this gives me 54 newtons okay so we can let's write over here f of 1 is equal to so in the x direction we got 72 so, so 72 in the i direction plus 54 in the k direction these guys are new okay okay good now the last one will be f of 2 so f of 2 is a little bit more complicated so this is what I'm, we are going to do so we're going to find this magnitude the magnitude of this guy how much is the magnitude of f of 2 in only in the x and y plane so if we check this, we got the angle. So basically it's going to be at the f of two in the x and y plane is going to be the magnitude, which is 150 
multiplied by the cosine of the angle. They're giving us the angle, so angle is 60 degrees. So if we do this, we get 150 cosine of 60, and this will give us 75 newtons. Why do I need this magnitude? Well, I need it because this way I can now through draw my y and x coordinate system and I know that I have a force that is positive and its magnitude is 75 newtons now what is the angle between these guys well this 45 degrees is between the magnitude and the y-axis so I got 45 degrees here meaning that I also have 45 degrees here now with this I can decompose f of 1 in the x direction which is going to be exactly equal to f of 2 in the x direction and how do I know it's because they are 45 degrees so if it's 45 degrees it means I have the same magnitude going to the x that I have the same magnitude going to the y so this is going to be 75, the magnitude, multiplied by the cosine of 45. You can also use sine, because cosine and sine of 45 is the same. So don't get confused about this. And this is equal to 53 newtons. Okay? So now, all I need to do... Oh, wait, 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 there is a second. This is, this is an error. This is f of 2 in the x and f of 2 in the y direction nothing of f of 1 okay f of 1 it's already done uh we're missing f of 2 but in the z direction so if you check this angle when we're doing the cosine we're doing this triangle which is also giving me exactly the amount in the z direction going up so instead of using cosine that we use for this guy so we are, I'm talking about this triangle here going up and the force. If we look at the opposite, it's actually f of 2 in the z direction. So f of 2 in the z direction is going to be equal to 150, the hypotenuse, multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees. And if we do this... I get 150, sine of 60, and this gave me 130 newtons. Okay? So, we can basically write over here, f of 2, it's equal to, so the x, which is 53, 53 in the i direction, plus 53 in the j direction, plus 130 in the k direction and all these are newtons okay so i'm gonna make a little bit of space over here in the middle of the board so we can keep continuing our problem so i'm gonna erase this so if we want to find the magnitude what we need to do so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do okay the resultant force r in the x direction is going to be the addition of all forces in the x direction so the x direction f of 1 and f of 2 so for example 72 plus 53 and this will give me 5 and 125 newtons okay now same for the force in the y direction the resultant force in the y direction and the only one that has a y direction, the j component, is f of 2, which is 53 newtons. And that's it. And then the resultant in the z direction is going to be 200 of f of 3, and 54 of f of 1, and 130 for f of 2. If we add these guys up, so we got 200 plus 54 plus 130, this is equal to 384 newtons. Okay? 
uh, they want to find the mag we they want us to find the, the magnitude. So if we want to find the magnitude, we're gonna apply Pythagorean theorem, and we're gonna do that the magnitude is going to be the square root of 125 square plus 53 square plus 384 square. Okay. Let's use the calculator. So we got 125 square plus 53 square plus 384 square. And this gives me 407 newtons. Okay, so this is my, the first answer for the magnitude. Now, they also want us to find the coordinate direction angle. So for the coordinate direction angle, so if we look at the cosine of an angle, let's say theta, it's equal to the adjacent, so adjacent over the hypotenuse in this case. So the adjacent for each coordinate angle is going to be the coordinate magnitude. So for example, let's say I want to find uh, the angle with respect to the x-direction, so I do cosine, we're going to call it alpha, it's equal to the resultant in the x-direction divided by the magnitude of the resultant. And if we follow this, we can solve that alpha is equal to the inverse cosine of its component value divided by the resultant the magnitude of the resultant. So, let's do them over here, the angles. So, for alpha, we're going to have inverse cosine of the resultant in the x direction, which is 125 newtons, divided by the magnitude, which is 407. And if we use our calculator, we get the inverse cosine of 125 divided by 407. And this gives 72.1 degrees angle. Let's do with respect to y. So with respect to y, it's going to be the same. But we're going to use the y value on top. So it's going to be 53 divided by 407 and this is going to be equal to we do inverse cosine of 53 divided by 407 and we get 82.5 degrees and last the angle for the z value so we're going to do the inverse cosine of the C value, which is 384, divided by 407, and this will give me, so inverse cosine, 384, divided by 407, equal to 19.4 degrees, okay? So these are our direction angles. And for the last, they want us to sketch this vector. So we know it's going to be 125 going to the x direction. So let's draw it with this blue. So it's going to have 125 in the x direction. It's also going to have 53, so a little bit smaller in the y direction. And it's going to have a bunch in the z direction so i'll say more like even more than f of three so if we sketch this guy it will look something like this where if, it, if we draw its octane, it's going to look something similar to this.
So that's it for the video today. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any comments, any suggestions or any doubts, like any questions about the problem, please let me know, comment down below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.